Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Aesthetics with me. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to customize your apps like I have here and how to make these little widgets for iOS 14. So by that I mean like how to make like these logos different and how to add these like cool little widgets. So I'm gonna go show you guys how to do all that today. So before we get started, I just wanna say Thank you, thank you so much for 400 subscribers. I literally cannot believe this. I just, oh my God, thank you so much. And I also apologize for the background noise. So here we go. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna select an app that you want to customize. So um, I'm gonna select one right now. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Safari and I'm going to search up FaceTime blue logo, or you could just do instead of blue, you could do aesthetic logo, or if you have a um like a specific color design you want to do. So you're just gonna pick one that you like. Ooh, I like this one, I like the color. So I'm gonna add it to my photos. Then you're gonna want to download the app shortcuts, which looks something like that. Okay, so you're gonna go on shortcuts and you are going to press this plus button beside select there should be a plus button so you're going to press that then add action and in the search bar some people have a uh, trouble finding out where it is but here's the search bar right there so you're going to search up open app open app then you're going to click this one that's like multicolored kind of it looks like that Okay, so you're gonna click that one, then click choose and search up the app. So I'm doing FaceTime, so I'm gonna type in FaceTime. Then um, below next, it there should be three dots. So you're gonna click that, then click where it says shortcut name, right here. You're gonna type in the name. You can also like do, for example, FaceTime, here just type anything, then click add to home screen where it says new shortcut one. Press the X and type in FaceTime. And then you can add emojis or like, I don't know, anything you wanna add. And then where it, there should be like a colored logo here. It might not be this color, but it's gonna look exactly like this, but a different color. So you're gonna click that, then choose photo or take photo. So I'm gonna choose in here is my photo. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit or you can like move it around and stuff, but I'm just gonna zoom in, then press choose. Then um, if you don't like it, you can do it again. Then there should be an add button. So you are going to click add and then done. Here is the FaceTime app, but I just want to let you guys know when you click on it, it's going to take you, sorry, it's going to take you to shortcuts, then FaceTime. So yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to show you guys how to make these cute widgets. I'm going to show you how to make these types and the photo ones. So let's start with the clock and the date and stuff like that. So for this, the app you will need is Widget Smith. It looks just like this. Widget Smith. So you're gonna go into Widget Smith, and where and it it like oh my god I can't speak. It will say add small widget, medium or large. I don't really like the large because the large. Hold up, let me show you. It's gonna be about this big, so it's gonna take up this much of your home screen, and then you only have like a little bit for apps. So I don't like that, but if you do, then go ahead do it. So let's just do a um small one okay and then i'll show you the medium one after so you're going to click on where it says like add small widget or whatever size you want to do I should say like right there so you're going to click that add small widget and it should say the date it's going to look like this it should say the date click on that and where it says default widget like the word default widget you're going to click that I don't need to screenshot everything. I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay, and you are just going to scroll down and find stuff you like. So, like, if you want to do, um, like, clock, or you could do the date, 
month, like the calendar, then you can just click on the calendar. And at the bottom, there are going to be um, three options, which are font, tint color, and background color. So first, we're going to go into font. There are a lot of fonts. So you can just pick one. I'm just going to pick um, marker felt. Then you can go into tint color, and you can do whatever you want. Then background color. These have a lot of options, and there's also like outline colors. I love the pastel options. They're amazing. So maybe you want to do a green. Then you're going to have to change the tint color to like a black so it's easier to see. Okay, then you're then at the top it should say if it's a medium, it's going to say medium number one or large number one, small number one. You get what I mean. So you're going to click that. Then at the top it, sh it will say the name again. And you're going to click that and you're going to name it, name, name it something that's easy for you to find. So you could do month, not moth, month calendar, then press save. Then go onto the page you want to add it. Like if I want to add it onto this page, I'm going to hold on any app. It doesn't matter. Edit home screen. And at the top, there should be a plus button. So you're going to click the plus button oops it went away plus button scroll all the way down where it says widget smith right here widget smith okay i have to restart again wow okay so scroll all the way down to widget smith if you made a small widget click add widget on the small if you made a medium then click medium if you made a large and yeah you get what i mean so i made a small one so i'm gonna go on to where it says small widgets and add wid add widget then I'm going to just swipe up. I'm going to click on it and edit widget where it says widget and then a name. You're going to click that like I named it month calendar. So I'm just going to click that. Then it should turn into a month calendar. But I don't want that. So you get what I mean. Now I'm going to show you how to make the photo one. And this is very simple. So let's just use that. So go on to widget smith, whatever size, blah, 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 default widget scroll down and it should say there are three options either you can do one photo or you could do photos and album meaning it's going to change every day or you could add a text like hello what are you doing or something so i'm just going to click photo then at the bottom it should say selected photo so click on selected photo and then choose photo choose your photo but you can't move it around that's the only thing so if you want to zoom in and zoom out you have to do that and again you're going to rename it so i'm just going to do ft and then save and then the exact same process here plus button scroll down widget smith add widget um here ft and boom chakalaka boom sorry that was bad but there you go. I hope you guys understand how I made my home screen kind of aesthetic, but kind of not. So yeah, I hope you guys have fun designing your iOS 14 and you guys can send them to me on Instagram if you want to share. Peace out. <laughs> okay, I'm so weird.